guys. For today's experiment, we're going to be working with butane gas. Now this butane gas canister can be bought at any type of grocery store or convenience store or hardware store. So for our first disclaimer, uh, butane is obviously explosive and flammable, so please be careful when handling it. Uh, really this experiment should not be done at home because it is dangerous and it can burn you or injure someone else besides yourself, so please do be careful. So here we have a glass container full of water with dish soap. So as you can see, we just took the canister, uncapped it, and pushed it down into the water. The butane will be expelled from the canister and the gas will be trapped inside bubbles. So from there you can choose to ignite them right out of the container, or you can do it a different way, in which I'm about to show you. The other way you can do this for the experiment is by taking your hand and submerging it into the water and scooping up a bit of the bubbles. So for this to work, your hand must be wet when you're doing this. If your hand is not wet, it will get burned in the process. Just because your hand is wet, you will feel the heat of the flame, so please do be careful. I always recommend doing this with, obviously, a t-shirt or a tank top or a shirt that does not have long sleeves. If you are wearing long sleeves during this demonstration, I'm afraid that your sleeve may get, you know, caught on fire or it can be damaged from the flame. So please do be careful with that as well. The only chemical reaction occurring during this experiment is the combustion of butane gas with oxygen. The byproduct of this reaction is simply water vapor and carbon dioxide. It is complete combustion. If it were incomplete, it would yield carbon monoxide and the other two byproducts as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm in the middle of editing new videos and I'll talk to you soon. See you then.